This is my life now. It's 12.30 a.m. I'm going to grab a road parking lot outside the hotel. Standing on a light post, getting filmed by a strange man. Cars going by. What do you think that guy's thinking right now? Like, literally, like, what is he thinking right now? Like, I'm sitting up here. Did <laughs> you throw a gang sign or was that the middle finger? <laughs> I don't even know. I wish you would have said David Red. Good job. Yeah. Impressed with your vibe. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary V, and it's time for the daily bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. I feel like, I feel like we got a rant building in my gut right now. I love the feeling that I'm in right now because like I'm back in my groove. Like I got my momentum, like just crushing, just absolutely freaking slaying policies, life insurance policies this week. 50 life insurance policies on Monday. So 38 life insurance policies on Tuesday. And just finished up uh, today, Wednesday with 59 life insurance policies. So that puts me in a total of 145, if I did the math correct. I did not, this is not right, it's 147. <laughs> Even better, 147 life insurance policies so far sold in three freaking days. I've said this and I'll say it again, the average life insurance agent in the United States sells an average of 150 in a year that does it full time. When I'm in this mode, I have complete it's not disrespect, but I'll just call it a lack of respect for people's unwillingness to work. I think about the amount of time we're putting in. And Gary talks about that a lot. Like, that's what V said. Like, it's like, it's not like hyperbole. Like, when I talked about working 20 hours a day, like, I'm literally working 24 hours a day. 20 hours a day, 23 hours a day, whatever it is. And, and here, I'll show you this. Let me show you real quick. So, like, literally, like I get comments like, what do you mean you sold this many policies so far? This is what I mean. <laughs> this is 147 freaking life insurance policies that I've sold in 72 hours. Is that 24 times three? 72 hours. Like this, this that that's what I mean. Like, what do you mean? Like, how can you sell that many? Well, let's see, this chunk was today, 59 of them. This chunk was yesterday, 38 of them. And that chunk was the other day, Monday, 50 of them. Like. That's what I mean. Like, we're old school. We still do stuff with paper. Like, like this is not some, again, like hyperbole. This is not some, like, exaggeration. This is not, I have, I have neither the time or the energy or the mental even capacity with what I'm doing to make stuff up. And, like, when I get in that mode and I see people and they're complaining about not having enough time, they're complaining about, uh, not having enough money. They're complaining about all these things. But what are they doing about it? Like, what are they doing about it on a daily basis? Like nothing, like absolutely nothing. Uh, and it just makes me sick to my stomach at this point. Like I, I just, I just don't have any, I don't have any sympathy. I don't have any uh, respect for it. I just really don't. Like at the end of the day, like no matter your skill set, no matter your talent level, if you just go put in like 16, 18, 20 hours of work in in a day and do it day after day after day after day, like things will happen for you. You will experience some successes. It's just a fact. Like you can move a freaking mountain if you put a 20 hours of work every single day towards it. Um, and so to, I, when I'm in these zones like, I am, like I'm in right now, like it's 12 freaking 30 in the morning. I woke up at 4.30 this morning and I gotta get up in four hours. Uh, we just uploaded the episode uh, 32 uh, for today. Uh, in our car as we were watching it and, and getting the final like review of it uh, 15 minutes ago. And now I gotta go up to my room. I gotta do an Instagram live. I gotta do uh, an Instagram story and an Instagram post uh, linking the uh, vlog in that so that it'll get out there so people will see it first thing in the morning. So like I literally, I, it's another 45 minutes easy uh, after I eat dinner, hopefully, um, before I'm gonna go to sleep. Then I'm gonna wake up and do it again. And like, I, 
I'm not dreading it. Like I look forward to waking up tomorrow morning and being tired because for me, I love knowing that I'm earning it. Like I love knowing that that feeling like that just dog tired, like exhausted, like this morning when my alarm went off, like I literally like audibly, I laughed. Like I literally laughed because I'm like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like it's just like this, like, oh, <laughs> like it's so early. I'm so tired. But that feeling of knowing that something sucks really bad, like knowing that like that little moment in those defining moments where I could have laid in bed a little longer, I could have got up and got on my day and get this thing started, knowing that I'm doing the right thing because I can I physically feel it and choosing the right thing to do, how many opportunities do you have in your life to do that on a daily consistent basis? And it's just with your work ethic. Like if it makes you uncomfortable with the level of work that I'm putting in on a daily basis, it is only because it's shedding light on something that is an insecurity in your life. And it's probably the lack of effort, lack of work, and lack of action. And if that is what I can do, is bring that to the surface and allow you to actually do something about it, then hey, I've done my job. And if I need to go work 20 hours a day for the next freaking 100 days in a row in order for you to have that breakthrough and for you to have that realization, then I am willing to do it completely because I know what I will create in that 100 days. And if that creates for me an insane amount of revenues, like insane, and then creates that little spark that you need to actually go and put in like nine and a half hours of work tomorrow and actually not leave early on Friday, then I've done my job. I've made a bunch of money. I've move the ball forward with the goals that I have for my business. And then I've actually inspired and, and created a little bit of a change in somebody's life. Like that's all I want to do. So like I would just implore anybody that is watching this daily vlog, please, 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 please start auditing the time that you're putting in each day and start auditing the things that are coming out of your mouth. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Like do your actions, match your ambition. That's what V said. Like, do your actions match your ambition? Like, do you talk about like, oh, one day when I'm successful, oh, hey, I'm gonna start this business, I'm gonna be a millionaire, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. But what did you do today? Like, did you get into the office, like rolled in around like 9.30 and took an hour and a half break for lunch and uh, got home, left at 4, 4.30, like God forbid you stay longer than 5 p.m. Uh, got home and, and, and hung out and you know had a couple beers on the couch watching the game and uh, went to sleep like or did you put in legit work today I just think that your actions tell a greater story than anything that's coming out of your mouth and I'm just so sick and tired of seeing it I'm so sick and tired of hearing it um, and I just love to be able to just live it